Hello ladies and gentlemen, I want to show you real quickly how to get to your QuickTime player and get started. We'll see how far I can get into this because I'm actually in QuickTime right now, so we'll see what happens. Alright, so there are a couple ways to get to it. If you're on a Mac, um, you want to pull up your applications. Um, as you know, you can just you can like do the little bear claw thing on your on your screen to pull up all of your apps. You know, you can just like what is it? You you spread your hand out and then bring all your fingers together and it makes that right there. That's one way to get to it. And then what I do, because I have a lot of apps, see, like I don't want to search through all these apps. So I just start typing QuickTime up at the top. And it pops up, click, and I'm there. Okay. Another way to do it is if it's already in your dock, you can just click on it. And then another way to pull it up is if you go to your finder and just start. Go up to the search and start typing QuickTime. That's not how you spell quick. QuickTime. All right, and then it wouldn't be documents or images. It'll be applications, which it didn't pull up anything. Let's see. QuickTime player, QuickTime movie. Maybe that's it. Oh, no, it's just bringing up QuickTime movies. So let's just show you the correct way to find it. Go to your applications on the side, and you just go down to the queues. QuickTime player. And you would just double-click, and that would open that mug up and you're there. Now to start a screencast, so if you want to know like okay I'm in there, I've got my QuickTime player pulled up, I can see it up here at the top, a lot of people get confused to pull it up too because it doesn't really pop anything up on your Mac. Okay, So when you open it, it doesn't do anything different except for change this title thing up here. Alright, so you just have to click here and start a new recording. You can start a movie recording where it'll record you know, you. Um, audio recording if you just want to do audio. It, this is blanked out right now because I'm actually doing a screen recording. Um, so this is the one you're going to want to do if you want to record your screen and do like a how-to like I'm doing right now. So you click that, make sure your audio is on, and you're good to go. So that's the intro to QuickTime. Another fun fact is how to turn it off, which I didn't know for a long time, so I had a, a really long ending to a few videos. Um, up here, see this little bar up here? See that little stop sign? That's how you turn it off, and you're about to see me turn it off. So have a great day.